welcome to Babble About Books. My name is Tavia and today you're joining me for Spiraling Out of Books, my TBR game for February. Let's go over what I read last month in January. Okay, so I had these four books. I had 25 Days Till Christmas from Poppy Alexander for my romance. I had Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tugluki for my YA fantasy. I had The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams for my adult fantasy. And I had Sea Biscuit The American Legend by Laura Hillenbrand for my nonfiction. I have today, by today's date, the 23rd, I believe, have finished these two books. I loved 25 Days Till Christmas. It was really sad, but very good. I highly recommend it. If you check out my vlog that went up on Monday the 25th, you'll see all my thoughts and feelings on this one. I talked about it a lot in that vlog. And then I finished Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, which I also loved and was really, really good. I highly recommend it uh, if you're into YA fantasies and I'm happy that it is a duology, so I can't wait to grab the next one. And then as of today, I'm about 10 pages in to Sea Biscuit, an American Legend. I am planning on finishing it by the end of the month. And if I don't in my game, I am allowed to roll it over into February as well. It is quite thick and very dense, so I may end up rolling it over, but either way, I've started it, so this does not count as any penalties for me. And then lastly, I've got The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I am about halfway through it. It's a very quick, easy read, so I will be finishing it either tonight or tomorrow. So I won't be taking any punishments. So I only did four rolls, and let's get in to the game. So we are starting right here on space 44. So let's do our first roll. Got a nine for graphic novel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so for the first roll, I rolled a nine for graphic novels, which I'm excited because finally something other than fantasy or romance. I've got three graphic novels to read, so let's see which one I will be reading in February. Monster graphic novel. So I pulled for a graphic novel Monster by Walter Dean Myers, which was adapted into a graphic novel. Um, I know it's also a novel, uh, but I purchased the graphic novel because I wanted to own some and I think the art style and the fact that it is black and white is really, really nice. Excited for this. I can't remember exactly what it's about. But yeah, so this is what I pulled for my graphic novel. Roll two. Well, two, we've got an eight for historical fiction. Okay, for the second roll, I rolled an eight, which is historical fiction, which is great because that is one of my favorite genres. So let's see what I will be reading for historical fiction this month. Oop, The Song of Achilles, which I am excited for. Okay, so I pulled The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller for my historical fiction. All I know is it's about a Greek retelling and that's all I really know. So that is what I pulled for my historical fiction. We've got a two for adult fantasy. Okay, and for the third roll, I rolled adult fantasy like I have rolled previous months before. So let's see what I will be reading for adult fantasy this month. Seventh decimit. Decimit, I believe. So for my adult fantasy, I pulled seventh decimit. Uh, the Great God's War by Stephen R. Donaldson. 
I, again, have no idea what this is about, but I'm excited. So this is my adult fantasy pick. And then for the last roll, We've got a seven for nonfiction. My cat has come to join us. Look at that, we've made it to a book haul, which is wonderful. Okay, so for the fourth roll, I rolled a seven, which is nonfiction, which I have rolled for a the past two games that I've done this, so let's see what I will be reading this month. I will be reading Into the Wild. So those are the books I will be reading this month. Lastly, I pulled a historical fiction, and I pulled Into the Wild by John Krauer. I am so sorry I butchered that last name. Uh, I kind of read a little bit of this throughout high school, um, but from my understanding it's about this guy who decided he wanted to live off the grid up in Alaska and end up dying, and it's kind of his journey on how he ended up there, why he ended up there, and yeah, so that is what I have to read for my nonfiction this month. Okay, so here are the four books that I have to read this month, and if I complete all of these books, I have hit a book haul which means the moment I finish the last book in this pile, I get to go buy books, which is exciting. I've been saving up since I started this game, so I may go a little crazy and buy a whole bunch of bookish things. And when I do, I will definitely take you along. So I'm excited because I've got two, three tiny books and a decent sized one, and typically I can fly through at least two books in a week. So I am excited to finally be able to do my book haul. Okay, and then in my 2021 goals, I talked about how I wanted to complete at least three readathons this year completely. So there are two readathons going on in February that I would like to be a part of. The first one is Buzzwordathon by Books and Lala, which is a year long one, and the first week of the month you have a prompt that you have to do. And this month the um, prompt is Color in the Title. And then along with J.D. Ray Reads, she's doing her mini, er, her polar -thon, um, the first week of February as well, which is great. I am going to be participating in that one. I, I did a mini polar -thon vlog for her first one. I didn't really read a polar fantasy because I didn't own any, but I did go and buy one polar fantasy book for this readathon just because I didn't have any and I really, really wanted to participate in it. So I did break my own no buying book rule and purchased one. But to be fair, when I started this channel and started that game, I didn't know about Polarathon, so I couldn't have pre bought the book. And so for that, for the Polarathon, you've got four teams. You've got the Walrus, the Arctic Fox, the Penguin, and the Polar Bear. I am going with the Polar Bear, which has four prompts. So I'm going to go over the books as I go through the prompts for Team Polar Bear. Okay, so the first prompt everybody has to do is a Polar Fantasy. And the book that I ended up buying for this is Spinning Silver which is great and I did not realize until I was, you know, grabbing all the books for this that this has a color in the title. So not only does this fit in for Polarathon, but it fits, it fits in for the Buzzwordathon, which is great. So this is the first book I will be reading for Polar Fantasy. Now there's one main prompt for the whole Polarathon, Polar Fantasy, and then each for subcategories. I will link her video down below. I'm doing a horrible job of explaining it, but like I said before, I picked Polar Bear, and the first prompt for Polar Bear is a white cover. So I picked The Apartment by Greg Baxter. I believe this is a romance. The, the cover really sold me. It's just a girl standing by a light post. I know it's set in Europe, so yeah, that is my book for the white cover. The second prompt is Cold Word. JDA Reads said that it could be anything in the title, cold, snow, ice, anything like that. So I've got Let It Snow, which is a collection of stories by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Laureen Myrasel. Uh, and it has snow in the title, so that works perfect for a cold word. 
The third prompt is a cozy read, and she said it could be anything that makes you feel cozy, you're cozied up reading it. And I love poetry, so I picked up You Only Love Me When I'm Suffering Poems by John Lupin, the Poetry Bandit. I'm excited. I've never read a poetry collection. I listen to it on like YouTube and stuff, but I've never actually read it, so I'm excited to dive into this and see if it gets me in my feels. Okay, and then the last prompt for Polar Bear is A Journey, and for that I picked up Captivate by Carrie Jones in the Need series. I talked about this in my most anticipated books and book series I want to get to in 2021, which was the Need series. I started it back in high school. I have read this book, but it was many, many years ago, and if I remember correctly, the main character does travel to another dimension or something, and they go to different cities, so there is a journey in this. So yeah, so for Polarathon and thankfully the Buzzwordathon, I've got these five books I'll be reading for the first week of February. So fingers crossed I can get to all the books on my list. Uh, if not, that's okay. At least I'm going to get to those four, the four on my TBR game for sure, so I can go and buy books. But yeah, so let me just grab all the books I will be reading this month. This is quite an ambitious TBR, but I feel like I can definitely do it if I lose a social life and don't sleep at all, which I may have to because I really am excited for all of the books on this list. So yeah, this is what I will be reading for February. You know, I'm going to add up all the pages and see how many pages I'll have to read a month, or in February, so one second. <laughs> For my TBR, I've got nine books, and it is a total of 2,504 pages, so wish me luck. Thank you for joining me for my monthly TBR game, Wish Me Luck, so I can go and buy lots of bookish things. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!